WD18, we're here for some fan cams after the Watford nil Stoke 1 loss. Luke, uh, what are your words on that game? Well, I was right from last week, weren't I? I said, I said we we're going to lose. Um, I'm correct. It was poor from start to finish. Yeah. There was nothing really I could say we, which looked good about our performance today. It was just awful. Do you think Marcus Silva got the team selection right? Because I would have I would have put Dini ahead of Gray. I would have said Kapu in the midfield was a good idea. But in the end, we just couldn't break them down. What, do you, what would you have changed compared to Marco Silva? I would have just played a bit more on the floor. We just kept sending up. We, Stoke are really good at, as everyone knows, long ball situations. And that was all we were doing. That was our game plan, just to send it up to Dini. Just got to play along the floor. It was just poor. It's like games like Brighton, we did that as well. And it's like, do you feel we've got the good enough creative players to cause more trouble than we should do? We didn't start with creative players. If we wanted a creative player, we've missed it. we really missed Pereira today. Yeah. Should have been juice. If we needed a, a creative player, it should have been Hughes. And not really starting, because he hasn't really played that much season, but should have came on much earlier than I think it was like the 75th minute or something like that. So yeah. I remember, um, was it Arsenal or Chelsea, you picked Tom Cleverley as your man of the match. I have to single him out today for, not today, no. for not having a good game at all. Obviously, we know what he's got in him, but... Um, what, what do you think went wrong for players like Cleverly and, and people who just... Richarlison didn't really have a good game. Uh, Dini, obviously, off the back of some good performances. Why, why do you think we were so we were so lax? Cleverly was just playing in the wrong position. Now, he was trying to fill Pereira's boots, which we know is a very hard thing. Richarlison's been struggling recently, but per- he was in Zuma's pocket all game. All game. It was Zuma did have him quite a few times. Yeah, Richarlison, again, should have scored. I think it was that header again. He needs to work on his head in yeah. training. I think he's like trying too hard and then he just gets it wrong. But uh, Michael Oliver, what do you think of his performance there? I think most of the ground, including the Stoke fans, didn't yeah, really he, like he, it. He was awful for both teams. I thought the, the controlling of the two teams was terrible. We had about two breakouts, the one at the end with Dini, which was absolutely stupid. If we won, we had about five minutes left and he's too busy... Trying to start I think that was because he was trying to win the throw yeah. in and Joe Allen just went at him. Yeah, but I was that, like, that was wasting our own time. We need yeah, to just true. get along with it, Dean. You need to run away, really. Oh, yeah. Exactly. But yeah, um, going into Everton away, they're in a similar situation to uh, Stoke at the moment. We, we kind of view them in the same similar aspect. What, what, do you, what have we got to change going into there to get a win? Pretty much everything, really. Everton's team is very good, but you know, I haven't got a manager. For some reason, with teams with an assistant manager, they're usually much better. I'm really not looking forward to it going down there for a on a Sunday early one, but hopefully we'll be able to get at least a point. A point be, uh, be happy, especially after today's performance. We've got to face realistic now that you know we're not going to beat every team at home yeah. or away after our great performance. This could be when we sort of slide down. We usually do this towards the start of every season. So back down from cloud nine seems for Watford. If you guys did enjoy the video, make sure to subscribe and like and we'll see you next time.